everybody and welcome back to my shop. I get asked a lot to make um, cigar ashtrays. They actually, they move pretty quick. I mean, as, as fast as I can make them, you know, I'm giving them out to friends, I'm selling them, they go on eBay, whatever. But anyway, that's what uh, this week's project is going to be. I got this piece here that I made a, uh, a secondary ashtray from. And it's going to keep the natural bark. It's just going to be a nice little cigar ashtray. Quick little fun project. I hope you guys stick around to watch. First thing I'm going to do is get this on the lathe and make a flat surface here. So let me go ahead and mount this plate. this onto the lathe with that plate you just attached. Yeah. bed. Now we could flatten the surface. I always like to start in the middle. Work your way out. It's nice and flat now. I'm going to go ahead and put a recess in there. It's the slightest bit punky, but I'm not too worried about it. The last one was like that also. Um, by the time I sand it out, it's, it's sandable. I'll sand it out, um, and when I put the finish on it, it should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and put a recess in the middle. Um, Should be a plenty good recess. <clears throat> now I'm gonna put the. Um, that should be a plenty good recess. Now I'm gonna put the um, the hole for my emblem. I have the recess for my chuck, I have the recess for my emblem, which is at a nice depth there. <clears throat> a, lot of, <clears throat> a lot of times after I have my uh, after I have it finished, I might fill this with acrylic just to make a you know a little extra fanciness. Anyway, <clears throat> this is ready to be turned over. So I turn this around, I put it in the chuck, I'm going to surface this side, I got a crack here, 
after I surface it, I may uh, fill it with acrylic or something. We'll see. So let's uh, let's surface that now. <laughs> I have this crack here. Um, I'm gonna fill it with this resin. I don't even know if it'll be in the final project, but I just wanna, just in case it is, I just wanna make sure. Hopefully it won't leak out the side. But um, here we go. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of resin. I'm just gonna put a drop of green in there just so it's not clear. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. This is a two part by volume so I got this measuring cup here that comes with the uh, comes with the product and that's 10 so this one's got to go up to 20 And we got 20-ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna put like one drop of this green. And ooh, oh, that's it. Just a tiny, because it always comes out too dark for me for some reason. So now you gotta mix it for like a whole long time. See how dark that gets so quick? Okay, now I'm gonna pour this in here. It's taking a lot. Surprise. I know this hole is going to be gone, but I got all this extra epoxy now, so. I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the pressure pot and then uh, I'll, I'll fill the rest after I get it in the pressure pot. So here we are by the pressure pot. This is really sucking this acrylic up, epoxy up. Okay, I poured the rest of that acrylic that I had in there. Whatever, it's soaking, it's going somewhere. So, it should be interesting. Either it's gonna be nothing or it's gonna be cool. <laughs> All right, we'll come back when it's done. All right then, let's get this out of the pressure pot. Back on the lathe. Start finishing this up. All right, let's get this on the lathe. See if we can't make it into some kind of an ashtray. Because I'm leaving it with the natural edge, 
obviously it's not a perfect circle, so you know it's going to be a little bit out of whack, but I should be able to get it up to enough speed where I could uh, take a work on it. So I sanded it up to like 150 and now what I'm going to do is attempt to make two cigar holders here, I don't know, it's just going to be two. I have, this is where the acrylic was and it didn't fill right on the edge, I guess that's where it leaked out the outside. So I don't know if I should make one here, but I kind of like that. So I think I'm going to make one here and one here. Let's try it and see what happens. So now I'll put it back on the lathe, I'll put some sanding sealer on it, touch it up with a little more sandpaper, I think I'm going to put an acrylic uh, base on it, uh, then I have this little, uh, I have this little metal piece that I'm going to put in the center, it's going to be a snuff, it's just glued on here right now just for me when I polished it, but um, that's what we're going to do next. Apply a little sanding sealer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, this is what I got so far. Cut it down to the size that I want it. Sanded it down to 150. Put my cigar grooves in there. The epoxy that we uh, that we filled looks pretty cool there. Looks, looks like it matches with all the other marks in here. I uh, cut the recess for my emblem. When I'm done polyurethane, I'm going to put my emblem, fill this with a epoxy, put it in the pressure pot. I'm, I'm thinking about putting a, a, a layer of epoxy on here. Then I have the little snuff um, piece of metal I'm going to put in the center there. Uh, so it's pretty much ready to go. Oh yeah, I put the uh, sanding sealer on it. So now I'm just going to start putting um, a wipe on poly on it. It's a gloss. I put, you know, thin layers over and over again and uh, so it's going to take days. Alright, that's Coke One. I'll probably end up putting like, I don't know, three, four, five coats. We'll see. Wow, that's pretty. Nice. Nice. Nice stuff. Well, here it is. Cute little ashtray. Got the little metal uh, stainless steel insert there for snuffing out your cigars. Not a cigarette ashtray, but um, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's a nice outdoorsy kind of rugged looking ashtray. Came out pretty nice. Uh, I'll put some put some close-ups at the end. But I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a fun little project to make. Um, please subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time.